Breaking news, Columbia Green Federal Credit Union just saved our member $105 a month on their car payment. That's no surprise, CGFCU helps our members save thousands. Wait, thousands? Yep, we have fantastic rates and flexible terms. We save our members by refinancing autos, boats, campers, and even credit cards. Apply today to see how much you can save. Hey, welcome back to the Press Box, presented by Columbia Green Federal Credit Union. Now, the past uh, week, we just have to mention, we've been doing the top 25 right. student athletes mm -hmm. to kind of keep an eye on throughout this whole school year, the 2018-2019 school year. That's uh, presented by Matt's Cycle Center, which right. is out in Kiksaki. Absolutely. We just have to say about him, a uh, huge supporter of the local student athletes. So thanks Couldn't to Matt for, for uh, sponsoring that. and and getting behind our area guys. For sure. So, and there's a ton of them. I mean, we yeah. narrowed it down to 25, oh. but that was a hard job to do. It's not like, oh, we have to look for yeah. these 25 guys, or we have 18, and we have to find more. You could have done the top 50 yeah, easily. Easily, and I'm glad you're the boss, because it's hard to narrow them down, because <laughs> we did, you know, uh, the three of us, including our, our colleague Justin Perica, you know, yeah. put them all together, put a bunch of names together, and then narrowing it down to yeah. 25, uh, you know. And you have... State champions, uh -huh. Section 2 champions, right. four sport athletes, which sure. is, I don't even know how you do that most of the time, but there's mm -hmm. a couple of them in there. Uh, ice hockey players, which yep. Gabby Cox is going to college for ice hockey. Incredible. So a very wide range, really talented, successful athletes in this area that, I mean, everybody, all schools have some to be proud of. So we have our top 25 to watch out for, but you could have had a uh, probably a twice as many on right. the honorable mention list. Yeah, because, easily. Like you say, a lot of, lot of great young athletes in our area, and we salute them all. We do. Now, it's football season. Mm -hmm. Friday night starts oh, football. Yeah. It's going to be a big weekend. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of, I mean, everybody right now is undefeated. Right. So everybody has something to look forward to. And uh, just running down the list, I mean, Hudson, a bit of a small team this yeah. year, but I think they could do some, they have some good players on that team, too. Well, it's nice because we're able to get out and, and go to some of these practices. Yep. And, and like you say, everybody's, you know, undefeated at this point. Right. Everybody's optimistic, you know, and hope springs eternal at, at each school. And, mm -hmm. uh, and Hudson's certainly no exception. Now, they have a roster uh, listed at 29, but right. uh, Coach Davey was telling me for the first game, mm -hmm. they're probably only going to dress 20 kids. Right. And that includes three kids uh, that he had to pull up from the JVs to make twenty. Mm -hmm. So, but but they they don't have a lot of numbers. They do have talent. As they do. You would expect with Hudson. They always have talent. Uh, yeah. Well coached team, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing what they can do because they open up on the road on mm -hmm. uh, Friday night, August thirty first, seven o'clock at a Class A team, Columbia yeah. High School of, of East Greenbush. Columbia was a Double A last year. Didn't fare so well. No. Uh, they they dropped down in enrollment, so they're a Class A this year. And uh, what they try to do with these because every B school has to play a Class A Going opponent up, right. uh, th th this time around. And uh, what they try to do, they match up, they try to anyway, mm -hmm. uh, evenly and fairly as possible, you, where you don't have a Class A school that was 10-0 right. and 0 against a Class B team that was 2-8 uh, and 8 right. or something along those lines. So they try to keep it pretty evenly matched, and mm -hmm. I think they did, did a good job with this. I mean, yeah. the Hudson has, has had a lot of success, Columbia not so much in football uh, in, in recent years, right. but uh, it's an intriguing matchup. Columbia's you know, got some kids back, some, some talented kids. Yeah. Uh, Coach Davey told me he saw some film of their scrimmage mm -hmm. this past week. And uh, like what the quarterback can do, they have some big kids uh, up front and on both sides of the ball, and some talent. But uh, yeah. but certainly a team Hudson can play with. Uh, like I say, Hudson will probably only dress twenty uh, out of the twenty nine kids on the roster right. for this game because of various <laughs> reasons. Some kids don't have enough practices in. Right. Some are, are injured, a little banged up from uh, their scrimmage this past weekend. Uh, yep. They did scrimmage out at Coble Skill against uh, the likes of uh, Oneonta, uh, Fonda, Unitago was there, and of yep. course the host school Columbia and uh, Coach. Davis said he, he was pleased with how yep. the team looked. There's some 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 good talent there. Um, you're probably going to see a change in quarterback this year. Last mm -hmm. year they they had a bit of a revolving door. They had right. uh, Charles Goodermote play some quarterback. They had Willie Walker play some quarterback yep. and Corey Topple. Corey Topple will most likely be the starting quarterback this year. That gives him a chance to move Charles Goodermote, who's a tremendous athlete. Yeah wide, out wide, and uh, to be a wide out and, you know, let him run the ball a little bit, get him out in space, and uh, and create while Definitely. he's out there. And uh, uh, they, they they don't have that marquee running back on paper that right. they've had in the past, you know, when you've had the Michael Alerts, the, the Marcus Reeds, the Willie Walkers, uh, but they do have some good kids coming back. Uh, Tyler Blue will probably be the starter back there. They'll have some other kids uh, coming along during the season, and Zion Clanton, and uh, Josh Miller-Wallace, and, and others. So yeah. what they don't have 
in, in quantity, they make up for in quality. Definitely. Now, Kuxaki Athens, you could say mm-hmm. kind of the same thing about They have some really good players coming back uh, this year. Again, also a new quarterback right. in uh, Joe Noda Bartolo. Yes, Noda Bartolo. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's a tough one to say. <laughs> it is. But I think they're going to do well, too. We have right. Patty Bailey, their coach, second year. Uh, we said it all year last year, but a young guy in mm-hmm. his early 20s. Yeah. Uh, I think he's going to have a, a step up. They only won, yeah. what, two games last year? Two and seven. Two and seven, which was a bit of a step back from the previous years, but mm-hmm. it's always a readjustment period. Yeah. Bringing in a new coach. So right. now he has a full year under his belt, and I think expect some good things from Kaksaki, where a lot of teams might be overlooking them. It was a step back record-wise, but as far as production, well, they put up some numbers. Yeah, they had some really, absolutely. really good athletes last year put up some numbers. And uh you got to take into consideration. I mean, not only was Patty Bailey coming in at 24 years of old, yeah. uh, of age, 24 yeah. years of age, and uh, his first head coaching gig, but yeah. he got the job what a couple days, days before yeah. fall practice began. So, right. so it was a getting acquainted period on the job, uh, right. on the job training for him and for the team, and a lot of you know they did. They, they, the kids and he didn't know one another. Right. Literally, didn't know one another. So it took a while to gel. They, they did put up some great numbers. They they lost mm-hmm. some kids though that put up those numbers to graduation, but they do have some good kids back. They do. Um, yeah, Joe Noda Bartoli, as, as you say, mm-hmm. um, is going to be a, I think a very very underrated quarterback. You yeah. look at him, you don't think of, of him as a quarterback. Fullback, I, exactly, back. exactly, <laughs> because he's a yeah. strong, a, a, a sturdy kid. He's about five eight, goes yeah. about two twenty five. Yeah. I tell you, I saw him during the baseball season and, mm-hmm. and couldn't believe my eyes. The wheels he has, very, yeah. very elusive, very fast, and uh, and he can throw a little lefty. And I mean, yeah. I, I think he's going to have a good year and surprise Definitely. some people. Um, they, they, they got some decent running backs. They have a good size linebacker yeah. uh, uh, led by Mark Martinez, who's a, yeah. uh, I think his fourth year in varsity, yeah. a senior captain. Yeah. Uh, just just some good players coming back in the system, and plus that extra year now that they have under under Coach Bailey, I, I think mm. CA is going to be another one of those teams that surprise that you might not. Think much of them at first because of what they lost in terms right. of graduation, but uh, I, I think they're going to hold their own in just about every single game they play this year. Definitely should. Now, one of the other big stories that we have is Catskill is merging with uh, Kara Durham, mm-hmm. new coach, new group of players, a lot of young players. Their modified team has quite a few. Uh, right. Their varsity team also has decent numbers this year, yeah. and but the merger I think is going to help these guys. They haven't won in a while. They have mm-hmm. one of the longest losing streaks. But that really, you have to throw that out of the window at this point because that's a whole different right. system. It's a different Definitely. group of coaches, different group of kids. I'd um, like to see how these guys do. Their first game is going to be against Kuksaki Athens mm-hmm. this should be good. at Cairo this right. Saturday. Yep. But another team that you should keep an eye on, just see how they progress over the year. It's not going to be about wins and losses they're going to have to start building really a team for the future here. I think they're going to be a fun team to watch too yeah. because again you don't know what to expect from right. them. I mean, you know, you look at Caro Durham's record the past few years, and okay, it wasn't great. They, 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 they've, they've lost certainly uh, quite a few games. They haven't won in a while. Right. But uh, you, you bring in a new coach, Dan yeah. Hatch, a former Marine. Thank you for your <laughs> service, Dan. Uh, and, you know, some kids from Catskill, some athletes, and yeah. you mix them all together. And uh, they, they have more than 25 kids. I believe it was 29, yeah. uh, counting the nine kids that, that are coming over from Catskill. Mm-hmm. And uh, you, who knows... What to expect? Yeah. I mean, they, they've it's, got some kids back. Like I say, Jake Hall played quarterback last year and is a tremendous athlete. Yeah, uh, you, they, they've they've got some kids that can play the game. I Definitely. mean, and added with the with the Catskill kids and a new sense of of, of just 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 the newness around the whole yeah. team, you know, and, and everything uh, th- th- that nobody's expecting anything from them. Right. You know, it, it, people you had looked at Caro and just mark off, there's a win, there's a win. You know, I mean, yeah. I don't think you can do that this year. And if you no. do, you, you, you may get your feelings hurt. Yep. <laughs> because I think, <laughs> I do, I think that, that, that Caro Durham, Catskill, the, the combination yeah. of the athletes and the new coaching staff and, and, and just a sense of, of, of coming together between the two schools is going to be, be, be fun to watch. And, and again, it might not translate this year in right. terms of, you know, well, we're going to win seven or eight games. You know, don't tell that to the coaching staff because mm-hmm. they want to win every game. Right. But I, I think in the long run, you're going to see this being very, very beneficial Definitely. To, to, to both schools and, and the football program. And I think you have to give the, the coaches a bit of slack, too, for any right. parents or oh, even players. You can't expect them to go 8-0 right. on the field, no. make a run. I mean, they're not eligible for the playoffs anyways this year no. because of the no. merger, and they have to take some time figure out what class they're mm-hmm. going to be and everything. But exactly. don't expect them to win every game. Mm-hmm. You can't expect it to be a complete turnaround. You have to give the coaches and everybody exactly. some slack. 
Let right. them build what they want to build over there. Don't run them off. Exactly. Go out, enjoy. You yeah. know, no matter what the score is, go cheer for your, the kids as hard as you can. Enjoy yeah. the ride and, 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 and know that this is the first year of this merger between Carroll Durham and Catskill football. Right. And, and enjoy it and, and watch and, and get out there. And no matter right. what the score is, no matter what the records, go out there and have a good time and let the That's kids it. have some fun as well. Definitely. Now, moving on to Takana kind of Kills. They always have a decent mm-hmm. football program. They struggle with some numbers for a while, but it seems like that's picking back up a bit. You have this year, I think, some guys that have been playing for a while, so mm-hmm. you have to look at those guys and, and hope that it all comes together this year and possibly next year, too. You have uh, Shane Bradway, who's been there for his fourth year on yeah. varsity. He's only a junior. Yeah. And he started all those years. Right. So you have quite a few guys there that I think are going to be pretty good. Uh, Dusty Snyder is a solid player in anything he does. And just a good group of guys that Coach uh, Mark Anderson had a fun year with. And just like at CA where Patty Bailey is entering his second year, yep. uh, you have that with Mark Anderson who took over for Coach uh, Bowman, uh, who we had here a couple of weeks yep. ago as a guest, uh, two years ago. And this is his second year through. So he, he knows the system already because he was an assistant coach under Coach Bowman. Right. And now that he's had the experience one year as a head coach, I think that will benefit him too going forward. And, yep. and he does have some some talent coming back. Now mm-hmm. Now they had the numbers crunched too. We, we you kind of sound like a broken record talking about the numbers because every school has, has numbers problems for the most part. But uh, uh, TH will have like 30 kids, but they basically had to combine no more varsity. JV. Exactly. They, they didn't have enough on varsity, <clears throat> excuse me, and didn't have enough on JV, so they combined. So you're going to have maybe a, a team with 30 kids, yeah. but maybe not necessarily all 30 are ready or varsity ready right. at this point. But they are gaining you know, some experience with doing the reps mm-hmm. in, in, in practice and everything, and then they may get in there on special teams, so so they'll, they'll uh, learn and, and again get some on the job training. But as you mentioned, Definitely. Shane Bradway, uh, you've got Dusty Snyder back, yeah. and uh, a couple of good linemen who started and played a lot and excelled yeah. actually as, as freshmen in Josh Hemmings yeah. and, and Ed Smith. And uh, you have Caleb Miller who, who would be starting in the backfield. Right. He, he's hurt though and probably won't play until October. But mm-hmm. but again, there's another weapon they can use yeah. when he comes back. So so again, Takata Kale's football I think is, you know, it's definitely an upward trend for the yeah. Titans despite, you sure. know, the fact that they had to d- disband their, their JV team and, and, and mm-hmm. combine with the varsity. But they do have some decent numbers on the modified team. So yeah. got some good kids coming through the system. They do. Now, Ichabod Crane has a, quite a few good kids right yes, now. Yes. That could be a team that you're yeah. looking at and saying they haven't had great seasons in the past. They do have a new coach mm-hmm. in uh, Tom Call yep. who's coming down. Kind of a young guy and uh, his first you know, major coaching job. I think that he's had some great talent to work with. Yeah. And Ichabod, if you're looking for a team to really surprise people and put the wins up, it could be them. Nobody should be taking them for granted like they used to. Well, Tom Cole, I had a chance to talk to him the other day. It was a pleasure, too. Mm-hmm. He, um, he He's an Ichabod grad, uh, and yeah. they didn't offer football when he was no. there. And he, he's a, he, he eats, breathes, sleeps football. <laughs> he's, a, he's a football guy. Yeah. And uh, this is kind of a dream job for him to, to take over the head football coaching reins at his alma mater. And yeah. uh, he, he's, he's more than psyched, as you can imagine, oh, to yeah. take over the program. Uh, they, they have a, a varsity roster of 25, mm-hmm. and uh, it might not sound like a lot, but in this day and age, 25, it is, it is. is a strong number for a varsity football program, and uh, and and as I mentioned, the fact to him that, that so many teams are suffering with, with, with low numbers, uh, that's not really the case at Ichabod. No. I mean, 25 again is, is a good solid number, but they're one of the few teams now that has varsity, JV, and modified. Right. So they got a good system set up where yeah. these kids are going to be coming through the system, and by the time they get to varsity. Uh, but these kids are going to have maybe four or five years' experience in the Ichabod system, right. and uh, and in live game situations. Exactly, too. they're playing all every weekend. They're, yep. they're getting in there, so they have twenty five guys, yep. juniors and seniors for the mm-hmm. most part, upperclassmen. They're yep. ready to play, and they have a lot of guys, like I said, that are. Good, talented guy. No Aiden Brookman should yep. be a solid guy. He's only, I think, a junior also. He's, he's a junior, and yep. uh, he's one of those guys that Coach Cole was saying could probably play very high at the next level yeah. in, in college. He, he's going through all the steps to do that and to make that happen, and mm-hmm. uh, uh, point blank, he's a beast. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's a big target uh, as a tight end, yep. as a defensive end. He's fast off the line and strong, and a uh, lot to like about mm-hmm. Hayden Brockman. And don't forget Toby Zuko. Yeah, now, now he's we, also uh, a longtime player. Another in that kid that, that, that hit the weights hard in the yeah. off season and, and is looking good and, and is expected to do a lot and maybe one of the best backs yeah. in, in the area, certainly in, in Class B uh, for for the Riders this year. Uh, quarterback mm-hmm. is a toss up right now. Uh, yep. uh, Tyler James and, and Austin Walsh are both. Uh, 
competing and, 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 and excelling in practice mm-hmm. and in the scrimmage they had this past weekend. And uh, I think you'll both uh, you'll see them both actually yeah. get some playing time, uh, quite a bit of playing time during the course of the season. Tyler's a senior, Austin's a junior, yeah. and uh, you'll be hearing about them. I was very impressed with Austin last year uh, mm-hmm. at quarterback when he played against Hudson. I yeah. had had a uh, hellacious pass <laughs> rush in his face all night long. But he's a big, strong kid, strong arm, and I think you're going to see a lot of good things from him. Definitely should. No, I don't want to say that we saved the best for last, <laughs> but we kind of saved the best for last. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Chatham, they've been a, a really, really good football team for a yes. long time now. Yes. And they should be again this year. They yep. have one of the best quarterbacks, probably in the section. Yes. And just all around team, Coach Rich uh, Sitzer over there. Yes has a lot to work with, and they should make a run for that Class C title, I think, this year. And they have a great coaching staff, and it starts with Coach Sitzer. They they have Mm -hmm. a couple of other uh, former head coaches at Chatham on their staff, and Sean Caldwell and Mark Dwyer. Just just a really good staff. Uh, They they work well with the kids. The kids uh, know what to expect from the coaches. The coaches know what to expect from the kids. And it's just a really cohesive unit. And and that's the thing that a lot of these high school football programs don't have a lot of times, because because, uh, and that's continuity, because of the, the changing of the guard with the coaches and everything so so you've got continuity there you've got a honorable mention a class c all-state quarterback in in caleb taylor who i uh, i feel is going to have a record-breaking year yeah you know zach cram kind of numbers i'm talking here yeah, in chatham absolutely. this year and not to put pressure on the young man but uh, i think he can handle it yep. he's a leader uh he, he's been more vocal in practice in the early going and i think again caleb taylor's the man this, this yeah, year in, in this area and in, in quarterbacking and he's pretty good on defense too so yep. uh, a lot to to, to come from him, and uh, but they, they've got a great backfield. You've got Tristan Skimmerhorn back. You've got Hunter Sheriff. You got Thomas Van Tassel, another kid who I think is going to have a big year. Yeah. You got two transfers from Hudson, uh, the Williams brothers. You got uh, Jay Sean, who's a sophomore, and Jason, who's a senior, both mm-hmm. who should play quite a bit in the Chatham system. Uh, they, they were well coached coming from from Hudson, yeah. and uh, they, they're going to integrate into the Chatham system. Uh, Coach uh, Sitzer said they're, they're both uh, acclimating themselves very well to mm-hmm. their system and how they do things. And I think you're going to hear a lot about them. You got a very good, strong offensive line. You got Scott yeah. Hamill. You've got um, you've got uh, Sean King, yep. who uh, uh, another kid. Uh, Coach Sitzer is very, very high on. Yep. Who's hit the weights. Just a lot to like about the Chatham team. But they're going to mm-hmm. find out what they're made of right off the bat because they play their right opener away. against Waterville, a team that's blocked them from winning the Class C <laughs> yeah. South Division the past couple of years. Yeah. So they will find out soon what this season's all about. They will and. A lot of new coaches always come in and say, we want to turn this around. We want to produce right. a culture of winning. Mm-hmm. Chatham has a culture of winning. They have Josh yes, Kyes, who is an yep. NFL player right it's now. Tremendous. Get a lot of D1 players that have gone on, Zach Graham, one of them. Yep. So they have a culture of winning. They know what they can do, mm-hmm. what they're accustomed to doing. And I think, again, they should do that this year. They're going to be say, a really good team this year. I think they'll continue that, that, that winning culture this year and, and for the foreseeable future because they've got some good young kids coming through the system yeah. too in, in Modified and JV. So uh, Chatham, Chatham football has got it going on right now. Definitely do. There's a lot of sports to be played. Uh, we're just starting now. It's not even Labor Day, but everybody's yeah. getting in there. The heat is kind of... Stopped a bunch of games uh, from mm-hmm. happening this week, but we'll be making those up. So we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on the football Lots, of, lots going on this first weekend. Yeah, let's, let's tee it up and, and, and start hitting. That's it. All right, we'll see you next week on the Press Box, presented by Columbia Green Federal Credit Union.